This is Dave Reese of Blue Rail Trains and today I'm going to show you how to use an MFI iOS game controller to run your Blue Rail Train. Now as you probably know, you can use Blue Rail Trains to run your Loco with a smart device. But some people don't like to use a smart device to run their trains. They prefer to have a plastic throttle. And this is for a couple of reasons. If you're outdoors and you're in the sun, sometimes it gets too much glare on the screen of your phone and people don't like that. And then also sometimes people just like the feel of a plastic throttle because they like the feel, they like the feedback of actually holding one in your hands. So let's see how to do that. So first thing you need to do is you have to pair your MFI controller with your smart device. So I've turned mine on. And when I go into my settings, it's just like you would with a Bluetooth speaker. I go into Bluetooth, and here it is, the SteelSeries Stratus XL, and I am connected. Once you're connected, you can launch the Blue Rail app and run your train. And as you see, I'm the app is connected to the Union Pacific 1292. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to bring the volume up. I had the volume set low on this, so you can hear it. Once you're connected, you go to the train control screen and you can use the MFI controller to run your train. So what you've got is Y here is your headlight. I don't know if you can see the headlight, the rear light going on and off. There it's going on and off in the app. The B key controls the bell. And you can see the bell going on there and you can hear the bell over there. X is the horn. And the A key here is for uh, changing directions. Now as for the throttle, you have two different ways you can do it. You can either use this joystick to run. Now as I do this, you'll see the app responding the same way. So I'll bring that to a stop. Change directions with the A key. The other option you have is to step up or down with this. So I'm going to step up. Gives a little more precise control. I actually like that better. That's it. It's pretty simple. Um, let's see, when you're doing this, your controller has to stay within 30 feet of your smart device. So you might want to launch your smart device, connect to the train, get on the train control screen, and then just put the smart device in your pocket. It's probably the best thing to do. Uh, you can buy these anywhere. I get them on Amazon. They range anywhere from those cheap unbranded ones that are around $20. This is a really nice one, which was about $60. Whew. I spent the bucks on that. Uh, you cannot use one of these little one-handed, this is called an uh, MFI uh, iOS VR controller. These little ones don't work on our app, unfortunately, right now. These are more for like taking selfies and turning the volume of your, uh, of your smart device up and down. But that's it. If you want to use a plastic controller to run your train, you can if you have a Blue Rail.